Don't export like a goober. Use presets. Hey everybody, welcome to Pro Photo Tips. My name is Josh Cripps and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. Now, I'll be the first person to admit that until about a week ago, my export workflow here in Lightroom sucked. It was absolutely a pain in the ass. It was clunky. It was cumbersome. Needless to say, I was exporting like a goober. Let me give you an example. This image right here, I needed to export it four times in four different ways. Once for Facebook, once for Instagram, once for my website, and once for a contest that I was entering it in. So every time I wanted to export it, I used a whole bunch of different settings. And when I brought up the export dialog box by hitting Control Shift E, that would be Command Shift E on a Mac, it gave me this window here. And then I would go through and I would say, okay, for Instagram, I want to export this to the same folder, but I don't want to put it in a subfolder. However, I do want to add the extension IG on the end. I need to export it to a SRG big color space. Instagram's pretty good about compression, so I'm not going to do craziest on the quality. Uh, but Instagram holds a maximum image size of 1080 pixels on the long end, so I'm going to set it to export at that level. And then I go ahead and hit export. Cool, so now I've got an image that I can send off to Instagram, but now I need to make one for Facebook too. So I'm gonna hit that Control Shift E again. And again, I wanna save it to the same folder, but this time instead of having an IG suffix, I wanna have it say FB suffix. Now Facebook's really bad about image compression, so I wanna increase that quality all the way to the max. Facebook also supports a slightly different file size. So I'm gonna change that to 1024, I keep everything else the same, and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit export. Sweet, and now I've got my Facebook photo. But again, I need one for my website, so I gotta go back in here and I gotta change things up again. It just goes on and on and on. And finally, for the contest, I needed to export an even larger size of the photo, but one without a watermark. Now this watermark is an image overlay that I added in Photoshop. So I had to go over to Photoshop and I had to turn off that image overlay to get rid of the watermark and then I had to save the image and then I had to wait for it to save and then I had to go back to Lightroom and then I had to go to the export dialog box. Once again, I had to export again. It was just like, it took me close to 10 minutes to export all these files. That's absolutely ridiculous until I thought, there's gotta be a better way. Let's look into presets. Sure enough, there is and they're awesome. Let me show you how they work. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta bring up that same export dialog box. There it is. Now presets are absolutely super simple. You basically just plug in the settings that you want for a particular preset. Let's go ahead and start here with Instagram. So instead of saving it to the same folder as the original photo, let's save it to the My Pictures folder and we'll chuck it in a subfolder called Instagram. That way, all of my photos for Instagram will always show up in this one spot. And I'll rename it to, put a little IG on the end so I know it's for Instagram. Now here again, I don't need to worry too much about my compression with Instagram, so I'll dial that back down a little bit to save on my file size. And again, I'll put in that specific 1080 pixel long max long edge. Now here I finally got smart as well and I decided, hey, instead of going over to Photoshop again and again and turn that watermark on and off like a muckety muck, I'm going to save my watermark file as a PNG and add it to my photo automatically right here. And I've got another video that I show you how to do this in Lightroom so your watermark's added every time. Now all this looks great. Now before I hit export, what I want to do is come over here and hit add. And I can call this one Instagram. And that's going to save right here under user presets something called Instagram. You can see I've already set up a couple of other ones. Now if I hit export, it's going to export a copy of this file exactly as I set it up using that Instagram preset. Now if I want to create a Facebook preset, I can come back in here and I can say, let's change this up. Instead of putting in an Instagram folder, let's put it in a subfolder called Facebook. We'll change the suffix to FB, put the quality all the way up. 
change that pixel size, keep sharpening everything. We do want a watermark as well. And now before I hit export, I'm going to hit add again and call this one Facebook. Now take take a close look at all these settings here. We got a suffix FB, we got a quality at 100. We've got the pixels here at 1024. If I go here and I click on this Instagram preset that we just set up, you see instant everything instantly changes. It puts it in the Instagram folder, it puts the right file naming, puts the right file quality and the size right on there. Or I can go back to my Facebook and have everything set up exactly as I want for my Facebook preset. Now I mentioned that I also had to export this photo as a large size for a contest. So I can show you how I set up a preset for that. Here it is right here, it's called contest. And if I click on it, it'll show you, it puts it in that folder called contest, doesn't rename it, puts the quality at the maximum, puts the long edge at 2,500 pixels. Now this one, there were no watermarks allowed for the contest. So I uncheck that watermark and boom, as soon as I hit export, it will automatically create this photo for that contest. So now whenever I need to export a photo, I've got all these presets right here. All I go is, okay, I need one for Facebook. Boom. I need one for Instagram. Boom. I need one for my website. Boom. I need one for a contest. Boom. It's super simple. It just takes a little bit of work to set up in the beginning, but then it is a massive time saver. You're going to find yourself setting up all sorts of presets just because it's fun to have this done for you automatically. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it finds its way into your workflow because it is an awesome time saver and super duper convenient. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out our newsletter for more photo tips and techniques. And be sure to watch some of our other Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.